All right. It is an exceptionally super fine day at the Minietta cabin. We are getting ready to go do a little exploring. If I can shake the flies off my hand. We are going to take the surly instigator and go up. Where? I can't see anything in my viewfinder, so I'm hoping this is pointed at a mine. There's so many up there. Wait, I can see now. All right, so we got this big mine there. We got that one there. We got that one there. We got one way up there. We got mines everywhere. I have not lost my mine. My mine is right there. All right, so I also promised a daytime tour of the cabin. So I will deliver on that. This is a lovely miner's cabin. It's on BLM land, which means it's part of the adopt cabin thing. I, although I think they discontinued that, but I think it, it still kind of lives on. This is the lovely kitchen. Keep the door shut or the burls will come in and eat everything. I left a sacrificial offering for the ring-tailed fox that lives here. He likes to come out and eat stuff, so I gave him a loaf of moldy bread. I'm sure he'll be very happy with that. And that brings us to the refrigerator. Free refrigerator. I don't have any lights. I should have brought an extra light in here. Can you see that? I'm on a mission from God. The smell of napalm in the morning. So I got that going for me. Houston, we've got a problem. Seriously. I think that follows me everywhere. Here's <laughs> looking at an animal. Every time you, your stinking paws, damned dirty ape. Yep, yeah, I know exactly what he feels like. So anyway, yeah, there's that. We have this lovely living room. I have made myself at home. Darn it, I need to come in here with a light now. You can't read all the cool stuff on the walls. I'm gonna have to do another tour. Some lovely ads for Studebaker. I believe these are the folks that take care of this place. Everybody takes care of it. So the general rule is you want to leave it in better shape when you found it. So cleaning up, fixing up, bringing supplies, whatever. And when you're here, you fly the flag outside. That's your, uh, that's your claim. That gives you the squatting rights. Come on, camera. There you go. Ain't that lovely? <laughs> Here's all the history. That's Jack Gunn.
Some lovely stuff. It's the Jeepster! Here's the bathroom. This looks like a great kill scene for a thriller. <laughs> Goodness. Lovely place, though. <laughs> They've really done some great work to it compared to the before shots at the various states that this has been in. They filmed a, a movie here. Damn, what was that film? Hang on, I gotta go. It's over here someplace. Where was that? Here it is. This cabin is featured in the 1969 Russ Meyer film, Cherry, Harry, and Raquel, starring Caliente Resident. Charles Napier. He plays Sheriff Harry Sledge. And here is excellent footage of his cabin and additional buildings on the site during the film's climax, as stated, vandals destroyed everything but this cabin in 1989. Those bastards. Anyway, this was a very productive mine at one time or another. Used to have a lot more to it. Probably can't tell from reading that. But anyway, I'm gonna go check that film out. That sounds pretty cool. Anyway, this is an awesome place. Oh, we got to go check out the view, the inevitable view. I have an overwhelming urge to recite the Pledge of Allegiance, <laughs> but I will refrain. Look at this view. Can you freaking believe this? Unbelievably amazing. All right, so Ballarat is out there. I've done several trips up there. Um, Briggs Cabin, it's right around there. And then Barker Ranch where the Mansons got arrested. It was back in those woods. Up there is Surprise Canyon where you had uh, Panamint City. And I believe that is Telescope, it's Telescope Peak. That's the highest one we got. Anyway. Ain't that lovely? Just need a little apple pie and some Jesus, and we are in America, honey.